we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section integral calculus and the problem is on the area of the bounded region this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 26th june 2022 in the second shift this question is also suitable for those students who are appearing for the ts telangana state mset examination and andhra pradesh state eap cet examination the given question is the area of the region bounded by y square is equal to 8x and y square is equal to 16 times 3 minus x is equal to we are given four options option a 32 by 3 option b 40 by 3 option c 16 option d 19 we have to find the area of the region bounded by these two curves y square is equal to 8x and y square is equal to 16 times 3 minus x we are given two parabolas let's call the first one p1 is equal to y square is equal to 8x and let's call the second one p2 second parabola that is equal to y square is equal to 16 times 3 minus x the first one both are parabolas the first one is a parabola with vertex at the origin and opening towards the right and the second one is also a parabola with the vertex at 3 comma 0 opening to the left so this is your y square is equal to 8x and the next one is uh, this is y square is equal to 16 times 3 minus x so the vertex of the first one is at the origin the vertex of the second one at uh, 3 comma 0 that is a and this is o the origin now the points of intersection of p1 and p2 are given by y square is equal to 8x and y square is equal to 16 times 3 minus x equate so we'll get 8x is equal to 16 times 3 minus x and that will imply 24x is equal to 48a yes yes and that will imply x is equal to 2 so when x is 2 y square is equal to 8 times 2 that is 16 y square is equal to 16 will imply y is equal to plus or minus 4 thus the points of intersection are 2 comma 4 and 2 comma minus 4 and the points of intersection of p1 and p2 are let's name p with coordinates 2 comma 4 q with coordinates 2 comma minus 4 so let's see this is your p and this is your q agreed now the region bounded by p1 and p2 is between p1 and p2 so the, this this region so that is this is the region bounded by p1 and p2 and we have to find the area of this region agree we continue in the next slide so that's what we have so far there is the region bounded by p1 and p2 which is shown here and uh, we we integrate the area through horizontal strips horizontal strips so uh, like like this so we will integrate through horizontal strips that means horizontal strip horizontal strip horizontal strip. so the the whole of the area you will get so and uh, now the area is equal to the area of the region bounded by p1 and p2 and uh, that is equal to 2 times 
द एरिया ऑफ ओ ए पी ओ एंड द लोअर पोर्शन इज द मिरर इमेज ऑफ दैट वन सो दैट मीन्स देर फोर दे विल हैव इक्वल एरियास सो इफ यू कैव कंप्यूट द एरिया ऑफ ओ ए पी ओ एंड एंड मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई टू देन यू विल गेट द होल एरिया सो टू टाइम्स द एरिया ऑफ ओ ए पी ओ सो दिस मच एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू सो दैट इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स द एरिया बाउंडेड बाई पी टू दिस वन पी टू एंड पी वन एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू y is equal to 4 y is equal to 0 2 y is equal to 4 so the area between this this and from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 4 so that will give you two times integral y is equal to 0 to 4 and uh, when you are doing this one you have to when you are integrating by horizontal curves then you have to take uh, x dy x dy so x of the right curve minus x of the left curve x of the right curve is this this one x of the left curve is this so that is equal to 2 times integral y is equal to 0 to 4 3 minus y square by 16 that is x r x of the right curve minus x of the left curve is x is equal to y square by 8 so they are shown in different colors also now y square by 16 plus y square by 8 when you add this will be two times integral y is equal to 0 to 4 3 minus 3 by 16 y square when you add this minus 3 by 16 y square integrate two times 3y 3 by 16 integral of y square is y cube by 3 to be evaluated from y is equal to, from For the from the lower limit y is equal to zero to the upper limit y is equal to four. Now evaluate this here two into for the upper limit three two whole into three into four minus three by sixteen into y four cube by three 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 cancels and you will get one by sixteen into four cube. For the lower limit it is zero. It is zero. So when you simplify two into it is twelve minus four. That is two into eight. That is sixteen. So that is the area of the area between the given two parabolas. And let's look at our options. Our answer sixteen appears against option C. The answer to this question is option C. That is the detailed discussion of. the solution of the problem you know which is based on the area between area between the two given curves that is the area of the region bounded by two given curves the, the given curves here are uh, uh, parabolas and uh, i am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and i wish you all the best Thank you